All right, uh, let's get into this quick tutorial on how I go about doing the normal pixel stretch, which is similar to what I'm doing with this image here, where it's just running across. Um, this also holds true for like any of the vertical ones or anything like that, but um, this is just the way I go about doing it. So once you have your image that's masked, um, if you need help with masking images, just do a YouTube search. There's tons of resources out there on um, how to mask an image. Um, so I have her already isolated. Um, I'm gonna go and get my marquee tool. And we want the pixel stretch to go from top to bottom going that way. Um, so I wanna select a good portion of her. Um, and when I'm selecting images, I'm always selecting stuff that has like a lot of different colors or contrast. So, you know, those, those stretchings have more stripes in them. And so I'm going to copy and paste this and just kind of move it over here to the right. And I'm going to get this bottom part of her leg and her shoe. Should have that layer selected. What we could do is now we have something um, that we could work with. So I could select this and hit merge. Um, or we could start pick, stretching this one, but it's a little bit too, too wide. And so we want to make a um, smaller width selection. So I'm just going to go here, select something like that. And actually, doesn't again doesn't have to be perfect. We could always adjust some things here and there. Hit copy and paste, and now we have that sliver that we want to stretch out. Now another way of doing it. So for example, uh, if we stretch this guy out, um, as you can see, um, because the width of the selection is a little wider, um, you're going to have these adjust where. It kind of fades in so like this isn't a perfect straight horizontal line it kind of flows and dips down you know um if i wanted to make it perfect i can go down here to this selection and hit like single column marquee and i go back to this image here and i'm just going to select in this area now what this does with the single column marquee it selects a one pixel width um so all it's going to select is one pixel uh copy and paste and I move that over so you'll be able to see the difference here now the key thing with doing the pixel stretch is command T um, when you shift this because Photoshop decided to change up how you do things proportionally you have to hold shift down and so now as I'm holding shift keeps it straight well let's do this other one that way you can kind of see the difference here now again Holding shift down, keep it straight. You can see there's a difference in, you know, just depends what kind of look you're going for. So I kind of like this organic feel, so we're gonna use this one. Now I'm gonna drop this down underneath and uh, turn that layer off. So we can already see that it's starting to look pretty cool. It's starting to flow, um, look good. I just need to line this up a little bit better. So I'm going to make sure it's lined up to the top of her head. And yeah, it looks pretty good. Um, I'm going to add a mask to this. So then I'm going to get a brush. Just use a simple hard brush here. Oops. What's going on here? There we go. And I'm just gonna take off this front part. All right. So you can see we already kind of, we have a pretty cool image, I think, going on here. I'm gonna bring some of this back there. 
uh, but sometimes some things don't line up. So for example, this red here, it would be ideal if it was lining up here. So all I'm doing here now is going, getting the marquee tool, selecting this area here, copy and pasting. And then now I have a little bit more image to bring up. I could always stretch that up or just move it up. The other thing here is like, I think on the original I had it with the shoe kind of faded off that way. So um, with here, with this, since this is not a perfect, it's not perfectly uh, vertical. Um, I, what I do is I grab the image, sort of grab what I want. Hit copy and paste. And then what I'm gonna do is hit uh, Apple T for transform and then go to skew. So now what I'm doing is I'm lining this up. Um, and this is now what I'm gonna use to get my selection. So again, I wanna get something that has different contrast and stuff like that. Um, zoom out here. Then add a mask. And that's about it. That's how basically I do the pixel stretch. And of course, you know, adding color treatments and stuff like that, um, fading things out um, to get the final look. Um, but that's how I do the the regular general pixel stretch. A uh, stretch. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to leave me a comment below. Um, and thanks again for watching.